Hi guys, welcome to my alcohol ink course. Today I want to teach you two techniques with alcohol inks that will help you blend your colour seamlessly and two techniques that will help you add technique detail into your alcohol piece that you probably have never seen before. I love alcohol inks because they're wild and unpredictable but I also think that we need to take a little bit of control back from the inks that it's not always enough to just put your inks down and blow them around the page or put your inks down and let them do their own thing. While that can be a really fun method, there is also another way to work with your alcohol inks and that is what I want to teach you today. So I want to take the mystery out of some of the pieces that have been created. Um, have you ever looked at another artist's work and just been completely overwhelmed by how complicated the piece looks and think that you could never create something like that? Well, I'm here to tell you that you absolutely can and most pieces, no matter how complicated they look, when they're broken down into manageable lessons, they are very, very doable. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. The work that I post on Instagram is often getting commented that it looks so complicated and intricate. And I can tell you now that it is not as overwhelming as you might think and is not as complicated to create as they might appear. So I'm going to be taking you through some of the techniques that I use today in this class. And I'm going to be teaching you how to make this piece of alcohol ink. So I'm going to be teaching you how to blend the color seamlessly. And I'm going to be teaching you how to do these wispy texture details adding some mixed media elements into your alcohol ink piece to make it a little bit more complex and detailed. And so anybody that has taken my alcohol ink bubble class previously will be able to incorporate the techniques that you're learning in this course with the ones you've learned previous. So for an example, the bubbles that you've learned in your previous course with the beautiful blends that we're going to be learning how to create today and our wispy textures as well. So here's another example of what I'm talking about. Wispy strands and your bubble piece from your previous class. But you don't need the previous class to take this class. You can learn these techniques all on their own and they sit very well together in a standalone piece. I will also be teaching you how to do these textured pieces. So this is a different blend than the one we're learning before this one. And I'm going to teach you how to detail it and add texture and depth into your piece. We're also going to be talking a little bit about colour. So as you might already know, I absolutely adore colour, but I wasn't always like that. I used to be intimidated by colour. I was afraid of the power of colour because when you incorporate colour into your piece, it has the potential to make or break it. And I originally was a sketch artist and would never ever colour my pieces. They were always black and white. But once I had a fundamental understanding of colour, I was able to develop my skills that I could eventually intuitively pick my colours for my pieces. But it does begin with the fundamentals of the colour wheel. So we're going to talk about some of the terminology used when you're talking about colour some of the palettes that we can mix, what colours go together, how we mix them together. And we're going to do a little project so that we can fine hone our colour choosing uh, abilities. So I hope that you will take a lot from this class and I'm ready to get started. I hope you are too.